traditional way of resolving a, a divorce or a, a separation is for both parties to instruct their solicitors and then their solicitors fight each other's corner for them. Um, some more aggressively than others, there's an awful lot of good solicitors out there who will fight for their client's best interests in a very uh, reasonable way uh, and a very positive way and that's good, it's good practice. But there's also a lot of solicitors who will start to fight in a, in a less productive way, in a more negative way. And if you think about it, that's unsurprising as well because it's all about, um, it, it's all about dividing up uh, the assets of, of the family. It's all about a lot of emotion. Um, so traditionally, um, quite often it would lead the solicitors and the parties to having to go to court and if you go to court then there's a lot of time and effort involved and that equates to a lot of legal bills but also incredible stress I mean, because you don't know what's going to happen next even even the solicitors and the professionals don't really know what's going to happen next um, so any alternative is, is better than that in, in my view uh, and collaborative law does give you that, uh, that different alternative um, is it available for everybody? Um, I don't know that it is actually, but there are some cases where people have come to the conclusion that they uh, they are so opposed to one another that they're unable to see the wood for the trees. And, and in those cases, probably it's best not to try and um, make people go into agreements where they're clearly not mentally attuned to it. Um, and if anyone's trying to hide something, and sometimes people are, uh, if they're trying to hide their their assets, um, then collaborative law is not good. You, you have to be able to go into it on the basis of trust. So it's for those cases where there is trust and there's some understanding of the other party's position and a desire on the part of both of the parties to, to try and make a go of it and to try and be positive about it. I think the beauty of collaborative law is that it's a small step, isn't it? It's a small step <coughs> where um, both parties are saying to one another, well, I'm prepared to trust you enough to go and sit down with you and to discuss these very important things with you. And from that basis, trust can grow. And I feel very much that this is very important, that the more you communicate, the more you give it a chance, the more trust can grow from those small kernels.